Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Kelsey. Okay, guys, we are going shopping at Ollie's. Now, we had an Ollie's down in Florida. Did you ever go to that oh, one? I've never been. Oh, Michael's never been. Um, Chelsea and I enjoyed popping in there once in a while and just seeing what all they had. It's just like a bargain outlet store is what it's called. Ollie's Bargain Outlet. So is it like Big Austin? Um, Only better and much bigger. So I have uh, some stuff for the deck that I want to look for. I've been looking for a rug for the deck. I need a pot for the rest of my marigolds and just like a list of stuff that I've been kind of wanting to look for and I was wanting to come to Ollie's and Michael's like, oh heck, let's go. So oh, that guy just dropped his stuff. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, we're going to go see what they have. So how are you liking Ollie's oh, so far? Oh, what have far? you done? Michael's finding all okay. kinds of good stuff. I am not, I don't like places like Big, big Lots or yeah. even like TJ Maxx or Marshalls. But this place is pretty awesome, isn't it? It's, I'm finding <laughs> stuff. I mean, it's still, uh, but yeah. I'm finding stuff. I mean, it's a discount store. It is what yeah. it is. So, but I had to go get a well, cart. Don't show. We'll do a, okay. we'll do a. I had to go get a cart though. Know. Michael was like, go get a cart. I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> Part of that's Chelsea. So. Oh yeah, of course it is. But Michael was finding these cool signs. Oh, yeah, well, this is the one I was sh showing Chelsea. <laughs> oh, the child. That's yeah. cute. For 10 bucks. Live like a dog. See, Eat, this is sleep, why play. I don't Oh, like. yeah. <laughs> I mean, but that's pretty easy fix. I guarantee you, though, if you look, you'll probably find another one. So we've got some taste test stuff. Well, just one thing All right now. We've got test. some other stuff in the back. <laughs> so Chelsea picked these out. These, I think they just sell normally at the store. They're better made chips. Potato sticks. Yeah, though. but she picked out sweet barbecue flavor. I've never had barbecue flavored potato sticks before. These look bright. Flavorful. Sweet barbecue. Yep. <laughs> Don't spill. That would be quite the mess. Good? Mm. You like it? Wanna try one? Yeah, I wanna try some. So that's what they look like. Potato sticks. Give one a try. Ooh. Yeah, those are yummy. Mm, good flavor too. They taste just like your better made chips. There you go. What's that? Sweetie. Organic grass fed beef jerky. <laughs> Happy cows make happy jerky. I guess. <laughs> yep, we've ended up at Lowe's now. I found a pot for my flowers. Whoa, that's cool. I think they must have painted that, huh? Oh, look at this. Whoa, it looks like spider web. Um, I think it probably are. No, I it think is. it's like a, I think it's the plant. Well, maybe like they it. all have that. Touch yeah. it. That'd be a lot of spiders. <laughs> <laughs> is that why we're getting it? So Chelsea has picked out the bamboo, but we don't know what to do with it. <laughs> it still doesn't look like it would be tall enough. Like, I would think you need something tall and I don't know. I don't know what to do with bamboo. <laughs> That's what she's been doing though. I know. Since she put it in her hands. <laughs> okay, so Michael had said he found a surprise for us nearby and neither of us had any clue what it was until I saw him enter it into the GPS and I figured it out. So should I say it? Uh, well, we'll wait till we get there. We'll wait then. till we get there. Yeah. <laughs> we are pulling into your destination is on the right. Target, but this isn't just any Target. It's a Target so big it has its own parking garage, and it's two story. Well, it's two story because the I think well, I don't know if the store's two story, or if it's two story because you're there's, oh no there's elevators in a parking garage, but you're in the parking garage. Uh, Oh. Which would be like story one, hmm. Hmm. and then story two would be the store that's up. Well, I don't know. That's what I I'm had guessing. sent. I had sent Michael. Are you going Bump. the wrong way? I have no idea. <laughs> I had sent Michael a link for online for this Target, and like it's supposed to be like some super big, like just really big Target. So, um, and we just happened to be in the area. I was so excited. <laughs> this is almost like being at the airport. Like it feels <laughs> it like we're at the airport. We're going to Target. Oh my gosh, it even looks like the airport. <laughs> Dang, this is a huge cafe. Oh, are we getting ICs? They're running. Huh. Strawberry shortcake, blue raspberry, yeah, cherry, or 
Chelsea's like, you could just come to Target and start working out. True. Exercising. <laughs> There you go. Uh, oh, you can I, almost get it. <laughs> oh. That's a pool float. You know, we've seen this before, right? Yeah. How cool would that be as a bean bag, too? Like, a can pool. I please get it? <laughs> what with it? Can we get it as a bean bag? Because we don't have a $500, $600 love sack right now. That doesn't no. We never do it anymore. Please, we never do it anymore. Yeah, one good <laughs> All right, guys, we are leaving Target. It is, it's just like a regular Target. It's like our Target, um, but it has a parking garage. <laughs> so that was the fancy part about it. Really great idea. We were talking about it, especially in like Florida where it's really hot and it rains all the time. This would be amazing to have a parking garage and not have to worry about getting out to your car and well, all the elements, snow, snow heat. Heck yeah wind, rain, you name it. So really a, a great concept if it were more possible to do it in other areas. So, and it was a nice surprise that we were able to get an icy too. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> so we traditionally usually eat out like uh, every other Saturday or sometimes every Saturday, depending on what happens. Every, yeah, every, other, Saturday. every other, it's usually every other. We are eating Little Caesars. So earlier, Michael and Chelsea were trying to decide between pizza and Arby's. Chelsea wanted to have Arby's. Yeah, I was a so, surprised by Arby's. Which, gosh, we haven't had Arby's in Michigan, not have we? Michigan, no, not yeah, in Michigan. Not since Florida. So um, we love their euros that they have there. Oh, they're so good. And it has been a really long time. Even oh, in Florida. Second guess. Oh, no. <laughs> Even in Florida, it had been... I think a little while since we had had those. Yeah. So it's been a really, really long time. Um, so anyway, we settled on pizza. This is your plate. Oh, that's it. That's tiny. That's a tiny plate. <laughs> I need a big. Oh, that's all she can reach. You're so sweet, trying to help. Pizza sauce on my face. Do you have pizza sauce on your face? Um, yes. Yeah, I'm sure I do. <laughs> Not saving it for later. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, almost everything you eat, every time you eat, you get stuff in your beard. Yeah. So we're gonna do an Ollie's, Target, and Lowe's haul. Chelsea picked out this succulent that has purple spray paint on it. What? That's paint. It's paint. That's not natural. Not only that, I think but... what it was was they dipped it. Dipped it in something. Oh, I thought maybe they sprayed it. Oh yeah, you're probably right. It, it, it does look dipped. This was $7. To buy that same plant without the purple is like three ninety eight. So they charge you Costs a lot of money. Yeah, for the effort to, 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 to. I'm telling you what, we could just buy a bunch of plain ones and paint them ourselves. And then she got this cute little green pot. Oh, that's dirty. <laughs> and yeah, he's clean. Yep. Uh, she also picked out bamboo, which begins the research on how to. His name is Bob. Oh, that's right. That's DJ. Bob. Bob. And this is. <laughs> I've decided. I think we need to name all the plants now. I picked up another one of these little barrel pots. These are only like $5. It's plastic. it's plastic, but that's only $5. And it's so stinking cute. And that's for my marigolds, which I already brought in because it's gonna get cold freezing again tonight. So I gotta bring all my flowers back in. Oh, it's soft. It is, that's one of the reasons I bought it. Look how soft it is, Pix. <laughs> Here, let me get my, my drools <laughs> all over it. I picked out this shirt at Oh yeah, that's even Target. has to do with you. It says dog mom. I wish I could. <laughs> oh no! No! <laughs> My new shirt! Well, she broke it in. <laughs> yeah, you're a dog mom. You're my mom. Let me get my spit all over it. Oh, Pixie. So, uh, Target, this brand mod, I can't whatever hold it, it is. Off. No, I know you can't. Um, they have in there, just in their graphic tee section, if you go like feel them, they are so incredibly soft. I actually felt it before I saw what it said, and I was like, Ooh, I want that shirt. Oh, now you're being cute. So okay, gonna... so Ollie's. Wait, what else do we get at Target? Oh, Coke. Yeah, initial impression. I mean, it was, I'm not a fan of it. It was interesting to go, 
I liked the food section because yeah. it, was, it was good prices. Like it we was. went to Big Lots and I looked compared food prices to what I go at Walmart or whatever. It's the same price. Same. So it's yeah. not any cheaper. Ollie's the stuff was definitely <laughs> cheaper. So that's kind of where we got suckered in a little bit. We, <laughs> you and Chelsea. So we got some stuff we'll do taste, taste tests on tomorrow. <gasps> it's in plastic. <laughs> oh goodness. She's only naughty like this when we vlog. Some hers brand s'mores, s'mores. puffs. Oh. So they're like Is cheese it cereal? puffs. cereal? No, they're like cheese puffs. Okay. Like s'mores flavored. They also had orange creamsicle. Ooh, weird. And another weird flavor that I can't remember. Um, but doesn't so, that look like that would be like a cereal? Right, but it's like puffs. They're like the same oh, size that's as like weird. Cheetos puffs. But we didn't show the jerky, did we? I don't The jerky was just to eat. But let me tell you, that's some stinking good tasting jerky. It was excellent taste, excellent texture, which is a big deal when you get jerky. And for the price it had, so it's Laura's Lean grass-fed beef jerky organic. And it's... Yeah, that was a really good oh texture. Oh my gosh. How much was that? Oh, 79 okay. for two and a half ounce. So that's pretty good for jerky. Jerky is expensive. Um, that's about Walmart price. But I will tell you this. I buy the five ounce and it's about both, six bucks. So. Okay. Well, for the flavor and the texture, mm -hmm. I'm tempted to go back just to buy more of that jerky because yeah. it's so good. And the potato sticks, string, shoestring potatoes is what we used to call them. Those it were so good. good. The flavor of those were really good. It was mostly flavor and a little bit of potato stick. I'd go back for those too. These just looked kind of interesting and good. Mountain Thins. No. And then so milk it's chocolate. chocolate. It's chocolate. Oh. It's like a candy bar. I think. Chocolate bites of milk chocolate with peanuts, raisins, banana. That's gonna be salt. weird. That's gonna be weird with a banana. Like I, dry. It's gonna, no, yeah, it's gonna be like the, bri the dried banana chips, I think, probably. Mm. Co all covered in chocolate. So <laughs> we have two wins from Ollie so far with the food. So hopefully those will be wins as well. This is my first, like, kind of. Oh, yeah. I think I got suckered into it. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Which I kind of need. So they're blue reading block. glasses, but they're the blue blocker. Blue so light computer blocking. Computer screen, TV screen. Which you need glasses screen. anyway for reading. Right. But this is for like probably, I'm going to try using it like on my computer. They're reading glasses too though. So I don't know if I got the right distance computer to my eyes that I would need. Because you don't wear your regular glasses when you're on the computer. No, but I probably should. Yeah. They were five bucks. I actually thought they were cheaper. Okay. I think I got it in my See, head that they were two fifty. Right there is the prescription for the magnification. I didn't misunderstand. <laughs> I didn't misunderstand that that was a price tag or something. It was just oh. when we checked out. It said five dollars on the receipt. I'm like. I don't think they were that much. The reason I grabbed them is because I thought they were dirt cheap. Five dollars isn't bad though for no, for, but for I thought a, they were even cheaper for reading glasses. I think it oh. just I saw I was looking at magnification and it got in my head and your your brain anyways. got all mixed <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I got some of that. And I was actually tempted to get some of those as well. But Not, the readers. The I don't, yeah, I don't so. need readers because my vision is fine. I I would just like to get maybe some blue like blue light blocking for when I'm on the computer. Cause I do notice if I'm on the computer or on my phone, my eyes kind of start to hurt a little bit. So yeah. probably should invest but in something were, like that all, too. They all have magnification to them. So yeah, so that wouldn't work readers. for me. And as I just briefly mentioned, it is going to get to freezing tonight. So I have to try to bring in, I'm gonna bring in all the flowers and plants that I can and the ones that are attached right here and right here. Michael and I were just talking about how we never use flat sheets. So like when you get a bed bedding set and it has a fitted sheet that goes on the mattress and a flat sheet, we never use that. And we were just gonna donate them or throw them away or get do something with them, we don't know. And I realized, oh, I could use those to cover my flowers. I'm going to bring in everything that I can. And then with those, I'm just gonna drape a sheet over top. I think they would probably be okay, but I brought in everything that I, well, I brought in everything but my marigolds last night. But even tonight, I'm gonna bring in my marigolds and cover the ones that are attached to the balcony. It is so frustrating because so many people have, they say to wait till after Memorial Day to plant stuff, but so many people, you know, jumped the gun and started early because it was nice out and everything. We were having nice weather. And then sure enough, we've gotten like a handful of freezes since then. So just tonight, it's supposed to drop down. Just to be safe, I'm gonna bring everything in and then tuck them in with some sheets. 